All right, let's set the basics of how you set up a tripod. Uh, according to your height, that's best for, uh, you know, working in the field. I have a mark on the ground over here. Tripod, this, will, this should work on any regular surveying tripod. Uh, unlock your legs if you have them locked. Pull the tripod up about your chest height, about chest height over here. Lock it in, extend all the other legs here. There we go. And typically you go with one leg away from the actual location and the other two are relatively in the vicinity of where your hands are so that you can manage it properly. I'm pretty much, pretty much on top of my mark, but to fine tune it, this is where I'm not actually stepping the tripod into the pavement or the ground yet. I'll put my instrument on top of here gently. Screw it in, tighten. And depending on the type of uh, optical plummet you have, if it's an optical plummet or a laser plummet, I mean, um, this is an optical plummet, so I actually don't have to turn on the instrument to see what I'm on top of. Uh, I'm going to use my foot here as a guide because what I'll be seeing in the optical plummet will give me an idea of which way I need to actually nudge the instrument. And I'm not moving the instrument on top of the prism or on top of the tripod right now. I'm moving the tripod itself. So one leg stays put. I'll just lift this up and kind of just align it. And I was pretty darn close already. So I'm on top of my target already. This is the time when you want to go ahead and step in your tripod into place. Might move a little bit, but again, we're not leveling yet. So next video, I'll show you how to fine tune this setup. All right, you guys, now that the setup is pretty much on top of my point, I'm going to locate my bubble on my tri rack over here and kind of roughly uh, get it in the center and I'm really still not using the actual screws on the tri rack I'll just be using the tripod itself so I kind of get it where I need to this way it doesn't have to be perfect but once it's in there I can get it a little bit tighter but now this is exaggerating you really don't want to do any more so I'm really happy with where the bubble is right now, meaning the tripod is set up relatively okay. Uh, now it's time to actually fire up the instrument and do the fine tuning afterwards. All right, now that the instrument has been uh, roughly leveled, what you do is I will be looking at, this is a digital instrument so you will see that there's a, a bubble that accounts for your tilt this way and then there's a bubble that accounts for the tilt that way essentially so i usually uh get the display perfectly kind of in line with two screws it doesn't matter which side essentially but i'm doing it on this side over here so what you're doing is i'm grabbing the uh, knobs at the bottom and i will be turning always opposite uh, left hand opposite to the right hand so i'll be turning if i'm going uh, this way with my left hand i'm going the opposite with my right hand so i'll grab this and what's a nice hint is i know i need to go with this bubble i need to go that way and the bubble always uh, operates or goes follows your left thumb so if i'm go needs to go this way with my bubble i'm going to actually try to get out with my thumb so you'll see that it will start coming in start coming in start coming in um 10 seconds out five seconds out just a little bit of an adjustment over there that's overshooting but again uh that's good enough for now now uh because we've already figured out the placement of our instrument this way we just need to now focus on this bubble which is really by using your left hand again so your left hand and your left thumb i know i need to go with the bubble that way so i'm actually turning the opposite screw over here just that closer to me and watching the numbers and 
turning until it gets down to where I'm happy with it. I go seven, six, if I'm within 30 seconds, that's usually okay, but that's it. Now I'm finished with the leveling of the instrument. Now the only last thing to actually do is using the optical plummet, getting the instrument perfectly on top of the pole. Uh, other point that you're actually trying to get to. So what I'll be doing is I'm loosening the actual instrument on top of the tripod and without trying to twist it I'm really just sliding it perfectly on top of that target. Once I'm happy with it I'll lock it back in and once again I will have to re-level. I expect that fully because the tripod isn't perfect but you can see that pretty much only one direction needs to be adjusted so we'll just bring it back in again come on in a little bit more a little bit more and a hair more and if we're going to be really critical about this we'll go on this in this direction also again i'm using two screws here and just one in the back here overshot a little bit but that's essentially it now you can just double check you shouldn't have moved by much it really barely moved so now I'm happy and I can escape out of here and I'm ready to take the measurement of my HI to the measurement mark which is typically on an instrument somewhere over here doesn't matter where you're actually measuring it because now it should be perfectly level so you can go right here also uh, from the mark that's obviously right there on the ground we're going to go all the way up all right hope this was a useful video uh, let me know in the comments below